The name Antonio Stradivarius doesn't need an introduction. Um, he's recognized as the finest violin maker to ever practice the art of Lutheran. And his works today are held as the bar that all of the violin makers want to succeed at. The Kreutzer Stradivari, made in 1731, is a very late item from his total output. When we look at the outline, the workmanship of the edge, we're seeing an older, much more mature hand, thick in the carvings uh, as well as in the arching. Assisted by two sons, also well in their middle age, these works are extremely coveted for their tonal quality. Here's a maker working through his stock. Um, what he's infinitely famous for at this time period is an amazingly rich, lustrous red varnish, um, which I always refer to as a varnish with a high edibility factor. The provenance of the 1731 Kreutzer Stradivari is important and unique for the fact that for the better majority of its lifetime, it's been in the hands of musicians up until 1921. Starting in 1795, it was first purchased from an Italian violinist and purchased by the great concert violinist Rudolf Kreutzer. Kreutzer is best known as the one of the founders of the French School of uh, Performance at Paris Conservatory. From Kreutzer, it passed to his protege and violinist, Joseph Massart. From Massart, it went to the amateur player of great talent and means, Louis Doyen. And from Doyen, in 1921, it passes into more private hands of Huguet Clark. The Clark household was well known as a rich milieu of the classical arts, and one of the most important was classical music. They were great collectors of fine Italian instruments, and no fewer than seven Stradivarius had gone through their collection. Here the violin would remain for the next 90 years in the possession of Huguet Clark, longer than any other owner had owned the instrument since it was produced in 1731. Mostly in obscurity, in its last 50 years, the instrument has survived in immaculately fresh condition.